I wonder if we, you and I, can help make Norfolk Police Sergeant Betts famous. I was sent a video by a subscriber of an incident that was uploaded just two days ago and I feel, <coughs> excuse me, that it's my public duty at this time to raise awareness of this Norfolk Police wet wipe and if we can, make him famous enough so that everyone who comes into contact with him will be well aware of his petulance and inability to remain impartial. Because let's face it, that could be very dangerous for members of the public. I'll link to the original video below as I will start it sometime into the video, but to save you time. But to quickly explain what's going on. The woman filming has approached the gate of what appears to be a farm. She is questioning the farmer about the state of a sheep that was brought into the facility. The sheep was dead on arrival, but even so there seems to be protocols around transporting livestock, both dead and alive. The man she is talking to is happy to converse with the woman and shows absolutely zero signs of being or feeling harassed, nor are there any indications from him that he feels alarmed or distressed. The woman even knows the guy's name and calls him by his name. As soon as a jumped up Norfolk police sergeant appears, the guy whose name is Ian claims very cleverly that he feels harassed and intimidated, using buzzwords. In fact, as the copper walks over, Ian says to the copper, would you mind doing something? I'm getting harassed and intimidated, whilst looking incredibly relaxed about it all. In fact, I'll play the video and cover some of the points at the end. What's the bell ringing out for Christmas Day? You're a bit early. Is it illegal to bring dead animals into a livestock market? Could die en route. Sorry? Could die en route. Well, what if they're chucked in the boot of someone's car? Well, they could have died and they've taken it out of the bag. It's just not. It's not illegal, are you sure? What if I check with Defra? Yeah, phone them up. I think I will. But why is there a dead why would you bring a dead sheep here? Well, perhaps it died en route. No, they didn't, because their body was chucked in the back amongst other like what bits of farm equipment. Well, you wouldn't transport there, a sheep like that, would you? Yes, you'd take it away. Of course you would. Why would you transport a sheep in the back of your boot, not in a livestock trailer? You transport them wherever you like. <laughs> Laying, down <under laughs> a load of Laying down under a load of blankets and stuff on top of their body? Come on, Ian. We've got a picture oh. of it. I mean, why not? Do you like, huh? Do what you like. Do what I like? Well, why do you think it's all right to bring a dead animal here? Because you want to move it, don't you? You can't leave it laying there. But why would you bring them to their body to a livestock market? Because you might be disposing of it at the disposal centre on the way home. And where is that? Attleborough. Attleborough. But they shouldn't be bringing them here. Of course you can. Because it's not the first time it's happened. Do you have like some black market trade? So why is it? Around, 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 around. But <laughs> mind, I'm getting harassed here. Why would you bring a... Do you mind doing, doing something, I'm getting harassed. Why would they bring a... I'm getting intimidated and harassed, please. Oh, come on, Ian. We've been filming, haven't we? Can you move on, please? Can, excuse me, why are you... Can you move on, please? Why? I've got someone saying he's being harassed. I'll tell you that seriously. Well, I've, so, I've been harassed. So can you, by who? By these. You've got, you've got to them. They've, uh, they've caused you've just upset come up by bringing dead animals into well, here. He hasn't, Ian hasn't brought dead animals, has he? Oh, Ian, is it? Is he your mate? Is that, is that, your name is Gemma. You're not my mate, are you? No, I'm so, well, not. So there you go then. So I know your name. So can you please move on? He feels harassed. Can you find? Oh, did you get that on can camera? He feels harassed. Can you find? You're in trouble. I'm not having you film my face. <laughs> you can film whatever no, I want. No, you can't. Not my face. You can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. No, you can't. What law? I can be harassed. I'm dressed as a police officer. <laughs> you you are behaving so abhorrently. Well, I can. So keep me on, please. Well, what? We're going to get next for harassment. Towards the harassment? Him. Towards and him. how are you going to justify that? What's your reasonable because suspicion? Because Ian, you've come up, you, I've watched you come up to him. And ask him questions. And he's now saying he feels harassed. I'll show you my video, well, shall I? Place of work. Shall well, I show you my it. video? Yeah, OK. Let's go then and have a chat. Oh, on. that's what... Don't you ever push me again. Well, don't you put I'll your phone in place, a complaint. Then. Do it. Put my phone wherever I want. No, you can't. You need to behave. You cannot put your phone. You cannot put your phone in my face. face. That can we do? No, you can't. That's what I'm doing that can right be now. Harassment and a public order offence. I'm doing so. right now. Okay, go. Okay, go. You are going to have a complaint. Do it. Do it. I might prosecute you as well. Look okay. at the way you're behaving. What do you mean? I'm you're a public walking. servant. No, you put actually. your hand on me. And you push me. 
Can you please stop recording my face? No. You can record me, but not my face. I can record what I, I want. Oh, no, you, can, you, you can't, so I can deal with harassment towards myself. Don't and be ridiculous. You should yes, not I be can. a police officer if you don't like being filmed. You can look it up. You don't even don't know your own being, regulations, do you? I don't, I don't mind you? being filmed. I don't mind being filmed in the face. You've that, pushed you me. You've me. just assaulted me. Right, okay. And I'll be putting a complaint in and I'll be sending it to my lawyer yeah. for my fourth prosecution. Who the fuck do you think you are? I to told put your you not to record like my that. face and you recorded my face. So I I'm using reasonable whatever force I want. to stop you from recording my face. You're not okay? allowed to. It's a public place and you're a public servant. I can stop you from recording my face. I can stop you from recording my face. So you stop recording my face. Put your hand on me like that again. Now on top of what I've mentioned at the start of the video, we pick up here on the intimidating fashion that Sergeant Betts from Norfolk Police approaches the female in. I wasn't sure if she was alone here, but towards the end of the video we see other people. But police should not be approaching people in such an intimidating fashion, entering their personal space and trying to act a big man when they are nothing but a bully in uniform. He says, Why? I've got someone saying he's being harassed. I'll take that seriously. Well, I... Now I'm pretty sure that's not the way to take an allegation of an offence seriously. The process should be to separate the individuals and speak to them separately, get both sides of the story and then determine one, if an offence has been committed and two, which of the pair is potentially the offender of the offence. But of course, Sergeant Betts just wants to use his authority to push a woman around. Can you please move on? He feels harassed. Can you find... Oh, did you get that on Can camera? He feels harassed. Can you find... You're in trouble. I'm not having you film my face. There we have the first of two assault and battery committed by Sergeant Betts. You can film whatever no, I want. No, you can't. Not on my face, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. No, so, you can't. what law? I can be harassed while I'm dressed as a police officer. <laughs> he doesn't even understand how filming in public works. I mean, how the hell did this guy make it to sergeant? I mean, I wonder if he points his body camera at the floor when filming the public in order not to film their face. Moron. Push me again. Well, don't you put your phone in the face? Then. Do it. Put my phone wherever I want. No, you can't. You're you need to behave. You, you cannot put your phone. You cannot put your phone in my face. That can be deemed, no you can't. That's what I'm doing that can right be now. Harassment and a public order offence. So. Now I have spoken many times about police feeling harassed, so many people say they can't be harassed, which I try to educate people that they can, but Sergeant Betts clearly doesn't understand that as a police constable, his level of harassment, alarm and distress, just like when it comes to Section 5 of the Public, Fo public Order Act, must be above the normal level of a member of the public. In other words, harassment, alarm and distress felt by the police must be higher than he would normally expect to encounter in his everyday duties. By the way, being filmed is way, way down the spectrum of what he's likely to encounter whilst on duty, so he is clearly trying to abuse his powers. Because Ian, you've come up, you, I've watched you come up to him and ask him questions. And he's now saying he feels harassed. Yeah, I'll show you my video, shall I? Shall I show well, you my it. video? Yeah, okay. Let's go there and have a chat. The police, a sergeant no less, claiming that all he needs is one person's word with no evidence and no investigation into the allegation. Order I'm doing right now. And there we have the second assault and battery. Can you please stop recording my face? No. You can record me, but not my face. I can record what I, I want. I, no, you, can, you, you can't, so I can deal with harassment towards myself. So and ridiculous. You should yes, not I be can. a police officer if you don't like being filmed. It almost seems like he's about to start crying over being filmed. Who the fuck do you think you are? To I told put your you hands not to record my like face, that. and you recorded my face. So I I'm can using reasonable whatever force I want. to stop you from recording my face. You're not okay? allowed to. It's a public place, and you're a public servant. I can Don't stop you from, ever I can put your stop hands you on me like that again. Face. I can stop Don't you from recording ever my face. So you stop put your hands on me like that again. I can use reasonable force to stop you recording my face. Oh, can you, Sergeant Betts? Well, apart from that being another assault, the threat of unlawful violence. What piece of legislation states you can use force to stop a person filming your face? I'd be very interested in seeing that piece of legislation for myself. How the hell can this idiot be a sergeant? I mean, seriously, the only thing I can think of is that he has sucked his way up the chain because he clearly hasn't the intelligence to be a sergeant. Although he does have the aggression and petulance to be one, maybe that's what gave him his climb up the ladder. Either way, I want to make this cretin famous, so please, let's share this video, let's get people to know this face and hopefully Norfolk Police can and will do something about his attitude when dealing with the public, his failure to investigate an offence and his treatment of the public with 
complete lack of integrity, impartiality and respect. In fact, I have a sneaky suspicion he and Ian <clears throat> know each other either personally or professionally. Either way, he certainly shows that he favours Ian over the woman filming. Help me help her by getting eyes on this video, showing this idiot up for the pathetic, petulant child that he is, and let's hope that Norfolk Police actually do something about his behaviour. As I've said, I will link to the full video in the description.